Alright, so really quickly before this video begins, uh, this is gonna be Paul George versus Hassan Whiteside and Bradley Beal versus Tobias Harris. Uh, this is the third episode, and I should have gotten this out sooner, I know, but I will definitely do better as summer goes along. But, yes, here's the, or I mean, roll the intro. Alright, hey guys, welcome to the video, there's the difficulty, I'm just now switching teams, and it has the weird angle at first, stupid, but um, anyway, uh, yeah, so about uh, me not uploading this week, because I'm at scout camp in New York, I just went to scout camp, I just barely finished as Whiteside scores, but I just barely got back like yesterday or two. I don't know. I just got back. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we aren't going to New York because uh, it got very complicated and yeah. We so we're just gonna have to go next year then. <laughs> Hooray! But now I can get this video to you. Rob is going to come out Saturday, so, and if you're wondering how Scout Camp went, it was horrible. I hated every minute of it. No joke. It was hot. I cannot fish because I don't have a license, and just fishing is boring. Canoeing, uh, you cannot steer, and then... Just, I got way sunburnt. My arms are still red, even though it was two days ago. My lips were chap. Or, they are chap. For, they've been chap for quite a while now. Since, well, ever since, like, the first day. Thank goodness I got to get picked up a day early to go to New York, and we aren't even going. So, I mean, I guess that's good. Better than staying there an extra night. Also, if the angle on this looks a little different, that's because I'm doing it this way, and, like, doing it from a different kind of, I guess, angle perspective. I don't know. It's the same camera angle and stuff, it's just the way I'm voiceovering this is a little different now. Yeah. So, this game is between Paul George who just got traded, and Hassan Whiteside, who also just got traded. So that's interesting. Man, I still can't believe the Paul George actually happened. The, the biggest losers of the trade were the Jazz. They were right there. They had the perfect offseason, as Paul George is three into three. They were having the perfect offseason. Mike Conley, Bojan Bogdan, it's Bo, it, yeah, Bo, no, it's, no, it's Bojan, Pacers Bogdanovich, Ed Davis is really good, got Emmanuel Moutier, uh, who else, Jeff Green, like, they have a great starting lineup, a great bench, their only competition, like, really big competition would be the Lakers, just with LeBron and AD, but thank goodness, I think, I saw something that the Jazz were the team that LeBron has the least winning percentage against. So, I mean, I guess that's good. But then, the Clippers, I mean, I still believe the Jazz are better. I mean, they got two of the top, probably, five, and five players in the NBA on their team. Um... But the rest of their lineup ain't great. Like, still got Lou Will, uh, traded Gallinari and Shea Gilgis, who are really great players, and four first-round picks, uh, for four unprotected first-round picks, a protected pick, and two pick swaps. But, I mean, 
they have Lou Will, Montrez Harrell. Who else would they have? Landry Shamit. Shamit. I call him Shamit. I'm not sure why. I believe that is how it should be spoken. But, yeah, anyway. I'm not sure who... I mean, I do. I know exactly who else they... I know who else they have, mostly, but... Because they gave up Gallinari and... Shamit. Or no, no. Shea Gilgis. But... Uh, anyway, whatever. They don't have as good of a starting lineup, but their bench, um, the two top players, in my opinion, for sixth man of the year, even though one of them is seventh man, and they got Zubak, too, who they'll probably start at center as Paul George breaks the rim to win the, the game. But, yeah, whatever. I'm still excited for next season. Jazz are going to be awesome. The NBA. Like, Kawhi Leonard just saved the NBA. Like, he stopped super teams. I mean, Paul George didn't help that. But, I mean, yeah. I'll see you in the next segment. We'll continue this. Why is there this on my screen? Uh, I'm not sure. There's another play button. This is a really weird day, apparently. But, yeah, see you in the next segment right about. Uh, now, <laughs> why do I always forget to say that? I am a moron. Uh, but anyway, uh, the back to the Clippers. This is, um, Bradley Veal versus Tobias Harris. But, uh, back to the Clippers, as there's already a foul. Back to the Clippers. I said that about five times now. I, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, the Clippers, um. So, Paul George, like, so they got Zubak, and he'll probably be starting. So their starting lineup will be, probably keep Lou Will on the bench. I forget who they have as their other point guard after Shea Gill just got traded, and Gallinari. Or no, he, I, I forget what position Gallinari plays. I think he's a shooting guard, but he might be a power forward. That seems weird that I confused the two, but, yeah. Um... Anyway, so the starting lineup will be whoever they play at point guard, probably Shamet or Shamit, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and probably Zubak or Harrell. But they probably keep Harrell and Lou Will on the bench because, like, Lou Will, multiple times six man of the year, reigning six man of the year. Uh, Manchester Harrell was behind him even though he was the seventh man. But, yeah, anyway, interesting how things work, but the Jazz will have Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, which is the weakest point on their starting lineup, but they have some depth behind them at small forward, at least, so we won't be having to do as much, plus, they got better help in the starting lineup, and so they got Bojan, they just got the Pacers, Bogdanovich, and Rudy Gobert, um, their bench is Ed Davis, that one guy who they drafted, like, the second highest scorer in the nation. I keep forgetting what his name is. I will remember, though. But him, they also got Jeff Green and Emmanuel Moutier. So that's a nice nine-man ro rotation, but they also got Georgius Niang, who's really good. So I still can't, well, not really good, but decent. So I can't wait for next season. Like, they got enough depth at all the positions. Like, they'll have Moody probably won't run point guard. Behind Conley, you can run shooting guard too, of course you can. Uh, or is he a forward? I cannot remember for the life of me. It's either him or Neil Aquina. They both come from the Knicks, but I believe he's the shooting guard. Or point guard. Or. So they'll probably have Moody running the point guard. Uh, or back. This is the bench. Moody running the point guard. The one guy they drafted at shooting guard. Probably Jeff Green at small forward. Niang at power forward. And Ed Davis at center. So that's solid. That's really good. Like, there's nothing wrong with that at all. That's 
a great starting lineup. And just think, they can if they can get a good start to the season, they've always had to make late season comebacks. So just imagine, like even last year, if they had a at least decent start of the season, like five hundred, they would have been the four, or the three four seed. Like they would have been, I mean, three four doesn't matter. They're still Houston if it's four, but they got would it be was Portland or it was OKC the six. So I mean they beat them last year, well, two years ago I guess now. But, anyway, I have completely reverted from watching the game. <laughs> uh, but, anyway, yeah, can't wait for next year. But, yeah, if they can get a good start of the season, I still believe they are top three seed in the West as uh, Bradley Beal won. No, Tobias Harris. I'm a moron. No. Yep, yeah, no. Yeah, Tobias Harris won. I am stupid. I think I picked Bradley Beal, but it says it down there in the bottom right corner. But anyway, see you guys at the... Okay, again, what is with that? Not asking questions. I'll see you guys at the review right about now. Alright, so just before the video ends, here's a recap. Why didn't I just call it before? But yeah, so here is what the full bracket is looking like. But in this video, Paul George and Tobias Harris won. Yeah, Tobias Harris won. I'll de I'll have to go recheck, but yeah. I also don't know how many points I have, just because I am a moron, and should probably have saved the file to the original thing that I had uh, made of all my picks. So I'll have to go do that so I can show you guys. But yeah. Yes, I wanted to do this really quickly. I'll do this at the end of every episode. But uh, go check out the other videos in this tournament. Link to that in the description below. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and see you guys next time. And 